how you doing? Um, here at OpenTire.com, I'm Ty, this is Jim, our president. We're gonna talk about our new Wilson Pro Gold 2 chest protector, right. uh, shin guards, memory foam. I love these. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, I know people have been asking about them. Uh, uh, and um, we didn't know when we were gonna get them. You know, that's been the story the whole year with a lot of things is we don't know when we're gonna get anything. Um, and so uh, we know it's kind of late, late in the season, but we're still excited about these, right? And we these these arrived. Uh, we weren't quite expecting them this week, but they came, and we're wing, we're winging this. This is a wing non plan uh, Facebook Live. Uh, I hope you enjoy. We just wanted to just kind of just introduce you as you if you're walking into the office, we want you to we were to go. Hey, let's we want to show you what these new chest protectors and new shin guards, the Pro Mill Two with memory foam. Uh, what they look like. So we're going to kind of introduce that time. You want to maybe get a, get a little start there? I've really seen um, what Wilson has put into their chest protector or their just their new their new technology. Having this memory foam come in, I know there's been a lot of demand for something changing from what's some called uh, a mattress or a thick pad. Now we've got this memory foam that comes in a, qu a quarter inch thinner. It's really just going to melt to your to your to your body. That's what I noticed right when I put it on. It was lightweight. It wasn't like wearing wearing football pads. It just it sat and, and adjusted to me and my specific uh, body type. Um, and hold, then, good, hold this up because yeah. really this is the this is the issue. hold up from the side. Yeah. I'm gonna hold up the, the old one. I'm gonna hold up the old one from the side, and you can see. Let's maybe get in there closer so they can really see the difference in the profile. This is the big thing. This is what everyone has been asking for for several years, and what we've been encouraging for several years. Is that this is this is the old this is the old one. this is the A3210 gold um, version. Everyone who has this loves it, swears by it, very protective. But the word is it's overdone with the, with the profile. It's bulky, and I think that's just part of the trend over the years of going to lower profile uh, uh, chest protectors. And you can see how you can see the difference, right? You see the difference in profiles uh, here. Uh, this is a lot thicker. This, again, this is the old one, and this is the new one. So you see the difference. And then on top of it, it's memory foam. So those of you who, back in the day, when you could take your gold and send it to Team Wendy, and Team Wendy would do a retrofit and put memory foam as the padding, and then they stopped doing that, this is what this is what they're doing. Basically, it's a, it's a retrofit with the memory foam lower profile. So it's here. It's Pro Gold 2. It's it's what we've been asking for. It's what we've been waiting for. Uh, that's just one of the. That's to me. That's the main feature. That's the main upgrade. It's why I wanted to highlight it. Um, and there's some other features on here too as well. Um, so if you're listening, in, first of all, memory foam, lower profile, biggest biggest upgrade. But then there's a couple other upgrades. You want to maybe talk about what those those are, Tom? You always talk about what somebody uh, at the the US Best wanted to be retrofitting or changing. One of the big changes that they wanted, that everybody wanted, was the side pro, the side okay. oblique pads. All right. Oh yeah. How yes. they're always yes. so right. fixed. Right. Stitched. Right. Right. Yeah. That was a, that was a fixed point. Right. You could not yeah, adjust yeah. it, change yeah, it. Yeah. It might pop out on you yeah. when you're working. You're coming up out of right, your Right. 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 Again, this is the old one. The old one where you have this. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Oblique. A wing. I, I, I call, call it a wing. wing. Okay. A okay. wing. Okay. 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 Whatever. Okay. So we got this extra piece here. A lot of people have cut it off because it either gets stuck. You get stuck out. Or it gets stuck. See here, it's stuck for me. You know, it's stuck under, and you got to mess with it. And so that was something we brought to them and told them we need to make a change to this. So let's look and see what the change ended up being. It's easier to show on the back side where the pad attaches, and it's no longer a fixed stitch in there. It's now velcroed in position. So now you can kind of angle it so it doesn't get caught, and kind of work with how your body shape comes up when you're making your call either out or hammer or any uh, or any motion you make behind the plate, you can now kind of adjust that so it stays um, angled lower, so it doesn't catch that top one, or higher up, so it stays tucked deep in there if you're more protecting that inside of upper oblique under your armpit. So you can adjust that it, stinks. or you can remove it. Yeah, really or you can remove it all together. Or you can, yeah. yeah, right, so you've you got choices there. So there we go, so now we're talking about two upgrades so far. That's memory foam with low profile, and then we've got the oblique uh, wing 
uh, side wing, whatever you want to call it, thing that gets in your way a lot of times on the Wilson Gold, thing that you've cut in the past that's now removable, adjustable, like a lot of the other test pickers are. I think a lot of companies have really gotten on board with that and, and, um, um, and where you see a lot of that can be adjusted, and so that's good, and it should be. Empire test pickers should have some adjustability and customizability to it, at least some. And, and uh, you've seen it in a lot of recent new developments um, uh, in the last couple of years. Wilson finally made that change. So that's that's change number two. Let's see let's see some other changes. Tom, we got out of the buckle. That was that. Okay, was I, know you love, I, know, I know you love the buckle. Personal favorite. Right, right. You're used to on the old gold, the T hooks. So you had T hooks, which are these metal uh, clips that fit into the chest protector, a hole, and then you got to turn it. And, and fiddle with it, and it's a it's a piece of metal, so it's well, I mean, also I don't, water. I don't want you to necessarily. I don't, I'm not bashing poo -poo the teeth. it. Let's yeah. not poo-poo okay. it. This is this is still a great chest protector, very protective, very uh, thick, you know. And it's but this is definitely different. So and, you upgrade, yeah. And you know, to me, the memory foam is the biggest upgrade. Low profile. That's I, I'm going to keep harping on that. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, oblique is another good upgrade. This is another one um, that is really it's really neat. I mean, I think. It's, to me, I think it's more neat than anything. So why don't you show them that? It's a fid lock uh, magnet or uh, magnet magnetic buckle. So instead of having to fiddle with their T hook, you just it snaps right in. And you're always going to have that kind of snap. You don't even have to. You don't even have to put it in there. It just it finds itself. Yeah, that's it's. Um, I know we met with Wilson about two years ago. Um, well, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it was even earlier than that because we had the pandemic. But the last time that we met with Wilson, went up there, we had an entourage of individuals. We went up there and talked to Wilson, talked to their design team. Uh, I think they had eight Wilson people in the room because they were wanting to make these updates and wanted to make these changes. And so they brought a prototype um, of what you see here. It wasn't quite what you see, but there were some improvements that they were making the prototype. And then they brought this out. And I think we were all like, whoa, oh, are you kidding me? I mean, it just, are you serious? Like, I, I didn't even know there was such a thing. And so, and I didn't know until recently what that's called. It's called a Fidlock system. I assume it's just like Velcro. You know, Velcro is a, uh, someone owns a, the Velcro trademark, and this is a Fidlock trademark. It's like a Windpack trademark. So they've been able to work with, this, with a company that has Fidlock uh, system, and now they have these easy to, uh, to buckle magnetic, uh, just you just put it there and it just it slides into place. Really, really. And how does it release? Was it an easy release? So uh, one way uh, is it, or it goes up, right? And then the other side is the opposite direction. Okay. All right. Okay. Got you. Got you. So I haven't fiddled up. fiddled with that really a whole lot with the fidlock system, but that's a neat neat little thing. But of course, what's nice about it too is what what's connected to the fidlock is your premium harness. Is your harness? Okay. Okay. So. Um, you know, this is one thing that we've been trying so hard for several years to get Wilson to upgrade, right? Is that um, this is the old one, this is A3210, we've been talking about. It came with this harness, okay? And we've talked about some of the limitations of this harness. Um, it's difficult, especially on some of the uh, other Wilson models on smaller uh, umpires to get, uh, smaller frame umpires to get it high without it being up so high you can't take it off. And so um, we've been asking, would you please, please put the premium harness that they have had for several years, and we have had as a replacement, as many of you all have, have used, will you just go ahead and put it on the, the new chest protector? It's on there, it's finally on there. So, um, so we're very happy. The premium harness um, that um, has been on the market that you may have already replaced with your current Wilson Gold items, that's fine, keep those, those are all good. But now the new harness has the fid lock on it. And I'm sure people are going to have a question. They're going to probably ask, will, will this harness fit on, this particular harness fit on my old, mm -hmm. old one, which obviously we're going to continue to have the harness with the, uh, which one are we looking at here? Is this the, uh, yeah. We're going to continue to be selling the, the harness by itself that you can retrofit, retrofit onto your old golds and you'll use the uh, clips from them. We'll continue to have that, but this harness will only work for the Wilson harness. Mm -hmm. So I know, uh, you know, Ray Brownlee makes a great uh, harness uh, that can, that can be used for that. 
through here. So so that yeah. that would actually work too. Yeah. We haven't discussed that. So this will fit through there. Um, okay. You just you pull off to. your. Okay. You, you would just pull off this uh this this ah, okay. piece of the buckle. Oh, okay. And then just feed it to your unlike harness or like your force through harness, okay, whichever harness you okay, like good. to use. You can do that. I don't know. Okay. You can't get it onto this one. Sure, but, sure. Um, so you can't get you can't put mm -hmm. this harness no, onto your old old buckle okay. Place. Okay. Our buckle okay. placement. That's they they really so to bring the buckle further back, they made it velcro detachable. Okay. So now it's just it's it's a placement there. And you're going to be able to you know, okay. use that in that position and extend it further because that Velcro right. is there. If you need it a little bit more, you can go further. Oh, back. okay. Oh, oh, that's excellent. Okay. There. So that's got some adjustability too. Yeah. So already we're learning. There's a lot of adjustability here. Um, the new low profile or Pro Gold um, with memory foam. You can adjust it in the oblique. Maybe people are just tuning in, just give them a quick little look at the oblique um, wing can come off. It can be adjusted. Um, the harness can be adjusted. The harness, you can put a different harness on it. So there's a lot more adjustability that goes in, into it there. So, so that's it. What are we missing? What are we missing on the uh, on the upgrades, Tom? On this guy, it, it's just it's just been you know just a shock to see the change of, of padding and how comfortable it was. Lightweight, super breathable, and, and just and right. it's really comfortable. Well, it's what we've been asking for. Now, yeah. uh, I want to I talk about a little downside. Okay. Because you know, here at Uptar.com, we try to look out for you guys and give you the, the full scoop and not just say that this is the best chest protector ever and you need to run to this right now because nothing out there is better. We don't at all want to say that uh, because every, there's, a, there's something that's best for everybody. We get that question all the time. What's the best chest protector? There is no best chest protector. What's the, the answer is what's the best one for you? Mm -hmm. And so I do feel that there are people who are gonna think this is gonna be the best one for them, but there's also other chest protectors that people will think that's the best one you know, those others are the best one for them. Um, the one downside of this, and the, and the one item that we asked for that we did not get from Wilson is we did not get longer, um, um, you know, a longer, uh, longer options. So um, the, the gold came in three options before, uh, basically 11, 12, and 13 uh, in a length, uh, neck to bottom. And we asked for it to go at least a little bit higher and maybe give us a 14 inch option. I think we were asking for maybe like, well, can we maybe do 11, 12 and a half, and 14? Can we maybe go that route? Um, and that just that didn't happen. So, um, um, so that's just that's one thing, Todd. That that I know a lot of tall people. I know you're you're a taller you're a taller guy, and so you, um, we always recommend that your chest protector fits at least over your ribs. Um, you know, your ribs are protecting your main parts, but we want to make sure that you know we don't want don't want a broken rib, so we always uh, want to be long enough. Yeah. So we know some taller people are looking at this and they're probably not happy that this is not coming in the longer size. Unfortunately. Right. So, but the good thing is there are other chest protectors on the market, have been on the market since we've been talking about needing more chest protectors. Champro has a longer one. Um, Champion. Champion. Um, uh, Force 3. Uh, Cobalt. The Cobalt with All-Star now. Diamond Pro. So, um, there are other options. So there are other options that where there used to not be other options or there were used to be very few options. And so uh, Wilson's sticking with their more MLB umpire pro model. You know, those MLB umpires, they want as, as little as possible, uh, you know, on there. They have better, they have better catchers than, than, uh, uh, than most of us out there. So, uh, so that's the reason for that. So I think we've got one uh, suggestion. Uh, uh, Hunter Fry is sitting in with us kind of watching and giving us some good advice here on some things. He's saying we need we need a closer up on the uh, on the fidlock um, uh, buckles. So you need is that close enough, Hunter? No. A little bit closer. Close, closer, closer. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you back here. Yeah, that way you don't fall. Okay. Here's neighbor. So just. Do you have the harness? I can. Um, I've got one with the harness. Well, we have to. It would have to need be on the chest protector yeah. in order for it to. Witness. Show it how it goes together. Okay. There we go. Got. Look at that. Look at you, Hunter. Go, Hunter. Look at the magic can. Excellent. Cool. That's just a neat, and I haven't yeah. seen anything yeah, like that. That's the any piece of umpire equipment. Yeah, it was. was mag I, other than the, the Brownlee now. Well, yeah, I, I, I really wish, I really wish that um, you could have seen the, at, at, that we had the meeting that we had in, in Chicago with Wilson. Uh, we had, I think we had, um, 
uh, Brandon Lawson came, uh, and, and Ben Josh. was there. My son Ben was there. Josh, Josh Mann used to work with us, was there. We were there giving them advice and begging them to make some upgrades. And uh, looked, and we were like thinking, okay, they're going to make some upgrades, and this is going to be good. And they said, we want to show you this and see what you think about it. And th this response was like, we were all looking at it like, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, um, so that's a little extra bonus there that I guess they were already going, going toward and, and doing that with some other yeah. things. And thought they would add that to that. So there we go. That's the chest protector. That's the Pro Gold Two with memory foam uh, pads. Question. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we have a question. Hunter, do you want to shout it out? Are the new buckles anti-rust or shatterproof? They're plastic. So okay. They're really anti-rust, and then shatterproof. They're further back away, so not okay. so much placed in front. So I'm not terribly worried about a, sh a shattering situation. As the, as the as the main profile is going to be the you know the side of it, it's not it's not so much placed in front where you take that full impact. Um, I'm not going to say there's. What's the name of the person asked question? Yeah. This one mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Was Mitch Levis? Mi oh, Mitch! Hey, Mitch! Mitch, how we doing? What's going on in Canada? Good to hear from you. Um, good, good question, and I think Ty kind of yeah. kind of hit it on the on the head. There is. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of products out there that have the what they call the Tifco buckles, right? Where it's it's um, you've got a male and a female, and, it, and it's plastic and it hooks in. Um, but what we've really encouraged um, um, manufacturers to do, if you're going to have the plastic, they need they need to be as far away as possible from any any hit zones. And um, it's one of the reasons the cobalt changed when we launched the All Star Cobalt when the co All Star Cobalt came about, is the, their prototype had the buckle further inside. I mean, it was literally right, yeah, right, right in this yeah. spot, and they and they moved it out and made a change to it. Um, and so, same thing here. So, if you notice, of course, the old the old chest protector, the A thirty two ten, the clips were farther in, uh, and obviously we would not have wanted these buckles to be in. So they're going to be out here. So of course we don't have a worn view um, of this, um, but you can see it's going to be more on the side. So um, so we're not as concerned about that. Um, put it on. But yeah, feel free. Tom wants to put it on. Uh, how can I keep you from not wanting to put it on? So, uh, so while he's putting it on there, well, I, have a, I have another question. While okay, he's putting it on, who is it? Um, it is. Oh, where would he go? I believe. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. Uh, Peter Soprano. Okay, so Peter Soprano. Okay, what's Peter? Or Caprano? How easily will it be to get clip replacements if and when they should break? Okay. Okay. So um, that's a good question. Now there are going to be harnesses available for for resale if they break, right? We do have some harnesses. Is that right? Hunter shaking his head yes. Kyle shaking his head. And those include include the clips. And they do they also include the uh, the female clips? Where are they? Where do we got? That's, right that's it. That's it right there. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Excellent. So that the answer is yes. So this is a replacement harness. Um, we don't have those available quite yet. Obviously, no one has the new chest protector yet, so no one's going to need to do a replacement on it. So we're not in any hurry to get these up. And I think we may have like a dozen of these so far. So, uh, but um, obviously, we'll still have the old uh, Wilson harness that will fit. You know, many chest protectors still for sale. But then we'll also have uh, the new premium harness with the buckles, both male and female, if there are any problems. I hope that answered your question, Peter. Thanks again for your question. We'll see how this fits. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So, like, it really comes around to the back side. Oh, yeah. Right, see okay. how Tie's normally that, that harness would come up to the front. I'm not too tall. Not too yeah. tall. So, if it, it would come up to the front, but now we've got it positioned further back, mm -hmm. away from that impact zone. Okay. Like you're saying. And it, I think it really brings that, com that comfort and yeah, right, right. back around. Yeah. Okay, I see that. Can you can maybe do it in a sort of shot view so you can see the low, the low profile aspects of this? The position. Yeah. I don't know how that looks. You got it's good. Able to come on there, good. Right, so, so yeah, and then of course in the back, just go ahead and just come up, just finish it off, and just turn around, and just so you can see the see the harness that goes with it. And we're so glad that we've moved away from from this harness uh, to this one. So, fantastic. And yeah, yeah, it's so easy. Like, you know, you just, like, I'm surprised your text was taking it off. I thought you probably was no need. You probably sleeping that night. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's it. What any other questions about the test protector? Because we do want to move on um, and talk about shin guards. Yeah. One person asked, uh, Chad Hodges, 
would like to know with it being foam, what's the best way to keep it clean, especially on hot days? It's gonna be just like you're cleaning your old one. It's that same material on the outside. Um, it's a, uh, the same fabric on the outside. We've got gray now. It's just the foam's different on the inside. Um, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I'm, 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 Chad, I'm really glad line. you asked that question because we want to make it clear the foam <clears throat> is not going to be touching, it's not going to be the outside uh, yeah. portion. So there's a, you, no, you, no, you've no. got basically a, a you've got the, the foam, it's meaning to show it a little bit closer up, but, yeah. but basically you still, still see, um, you still see the fabric, the synthetic fabric on the outside that covers, uh, that covers the memory foam. Um, and so you should be able to clean it the same way, the same way that we've done everything else. And people ask the question all the time, how do you clean your shoes? How do you keep your um, chest protector clean? How do you, and I keep it real simple and it's just mild, it's mild soap and water. So um, obviously after after every game, we want, we want you to wipe it down. Um, keep it in air, get the moisture air, out, out, out of it, like air out, that type thing. But yeah. you really shouldn't, shouldn't be anything special about it just because it's got memory foam um, underneath the outer, outer layer. Yeah. I hope that answered your question. Thanks again for asking that. All right. You want to talk about chin guard? Yeah. So, all right, excellent. So, if you're just tuning in, if you're just tuning in, and you want to look at the chest protector, you're going to have to go back and look at the start of the video because now we're going to move on to shin guard. So, so without further ado, Tom, I'm going to let you talk about the Wilson Pro Gold shin guards with with memory foam as well. So, you get, um, it's really the best of both worlds. You get the double knee protection, which it, it really extends up and over the knee. Uh, or and it covers the full knee. And now we go into the memory foam aspect, making you more comfortable as your knee sets into this center channel. So we, we've added the memory foam aspect, bringing, bringing um, and, it, and, and having it extended around 17? the knee, you're padding it, and then this memory foam channel really just brings it, let's scoot that up even more so you can see it, really brings that comfort in, wraps the same way here. But I mean, that's, just, that's, that's gonna be, next level protection comfort wise as you as you do your game yeah and i don't want to oversell this okay on the memory foam aspects of it because the entire chest protector is memory foam the the, the padding underneath um, is there this one has a memory foam channel so it's not the whole thing is not memory foam so there is a channel uh, that you see here uh the part that's going to be uh fr frontward facing you've got this where your knee is and this that this is memory foam, so that's gonna that's gonna be very comfortable, uh, very contoured uh, there. Uh, but this is the it's, and this is really interesting um, about this product. It's it's I don't know if I want to call it a hybrid of the of the two styles we had before with the old gold and the old platinum, uh, which would be the A thirty four hundred nine gold, which which was black and uh, black in color, and then the A thirty four seventeens, which was platinum or gray in color. But basically, uh, Wilson has basically said, we're going to go with one umpire shin guard moving forward. So instead of having two umpire shin guards, they're going to have one, and this is the one. And so what they basically have done is um, they've taken the double knee aspects of the A3417, uh, which is the platinum one or the gray one, Let's start with the ankle plates. And then they do are adjustable. So these these can go up and down. And just um, on Velcro. So they can kind of move them back up or place them further down. So just like the wing on the uh, chest protector that can either you can either remove or you can uh, move up and down. They are Velcro. They are they are kind of uh, stuck is stuck in this one's um, kind of with this elastic. They're riveted here. So you gotta kind of have to work. Oh, okay. I thought I had messed with that. I thought it was really easy to bring so that up or down. You got these like kind of oh, okay. stretches. Okay. Where you come out. 
getting a big upgrade low profile with some memory foam. This is an ad another additional feature that, that's on here. Is you can make some adjust some adjustments to the to the ankle plates because there's Velcro. Why don't you make that a little bit closer so they can just, just see um, see that there are some things you can do with that with that ankle plate. Yeah, there you go. Let's see the Velcro underneath. So you can adjust it up. You can adjust it down. Yeah. But you can't. This is one you you can't. It's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna okay. go anywhere. Okay. That, that elastic does give you a little bit of range up and down. Right. Um, this toe cap is. Yeah. Okay. So this like this like the uh, 30, A3417 that's always been removable with Velcro. This is still still the same. Uh, you can still remove that, and obviously. Uh, well, that's that's always been that way. So we don't have to take it out. That's fine. We don't have to take it out. It's um uh, it's good. Um, now what about the um uh, the straps and clips? We have any changes on that? No, it's still your metal metal uh. Uh, stainless um, uh, metal clips. Stainless or metal, metal clips. Or metal metal clips. Metal They're painted. Clips. Painted. Okay. Painted metal clips right. around your D, uh, D hooks, and there's um, four of them. Okay. And around the back side of the knee. So that is. Is that, is that an upgrade over? Okay. So the eight. This is the. Uh, this is the A3409. This is the old uh, gold one that was a longer triple knee. So you can kind of see the differences. Differences of that. We don't have to, there we go. So you can see this is the triple knee. This is the bigger, more bulky one. This is the one where you had the toe cap that you. Big toe cap. Yeah, yeah. But you, in order to take this one off, you had to you had to cut it off. Um, so that's the difference there. Um, this one did have some adjustability in the anchor plates, just like that one does. So you, as again, you can see it's a combination where some of the best, the better features of the A3409. Look at the thickness between these. Yeah. So you, okay, that's a good point. Yeah. So you can see the thickness differences between the A3409 and the A uh, and the new memory phone. It's, it's, it. it's definitely thinner. Yeah. It is definitely, thinner. definitely thinner. It might be kind of hard to see. Um, yeah. Might be kind of hard to see the difference in profile, but it's almost easier to feel. I'm pinching this one here, and I'm pinching this one, and it's definitely, definitely low profile. So, um, so that's it. Is there anything we're missing on the uh, shin guards? I know the chest checker was sort of the big, uh, the big reveal. Uh, shin guards going to kind of go along with it. They're both uh, got memory foam in it. They both got the the jet black with the with the Wilson logo and and the um, MLB logos on there. Um, but that, that's it. That's the main. That's the main two upgrades. So, um, we, Hunter, we got any other um, any other questions? What's that? Hold on. <laughs> Again, we're we're completely winging this because we, we we literally said an hour ago. Why don't we go live with this and why don't we show what just came in? Um, so you know, while Tom, while Hunter's looking up some more potential um, uh, questions that you might have, feel free, please to. To ask some questions. That's what that's what we're here for. Uh, we want to make this as, as if you walked in the office and said, "Hey, I heard you got these new Wilson products um, going. I'd love to take a look and and see what uh, um, see what you've got." And um, okay, good, good, good. Want to make sure of that. Um, but um, yeah, so we're just going to kind of bring in you that to you. It's kind of like you know we knew about some of the new features that were coming. Um, it's a Velcro but the we're knee. still we are still uh, learning as well, uh, and we just kind of want to just open this up and just be transparent and share this with you. You know, another thing too is um, you know as far as the timing goes, um, you know we know there've been some companies out there, some retailers out there who have um, you know d uh, done some pre-sales um, and. Um, we really struggled with with knowing what to do with this product, given the um, these products, given the, the supply chain issues that that have been going on uh, throughout most of the years. As many of you know, many of you know, there have been a lot of things that have been out of stock this year. Um, so Wilson, uh, you know, had originally told us this, is, this would be available in November of last year. Um, was it November or was it December, Hunter? Uh, November. It was November. Okay. Uh, so Hunter is our buyer, so I wanted to get a little make sure that was right on that. Um, but we felt it was probably going to be pushed off because of the supply chain issues, and it was pretty soon that they pushed it off to December, and then before long it was January, and then things got even worse. And we just really kind of felt that this is probably not going to happen this year. And so we discussed pre-selling it, we discussed pre-orders, we discussed putting it on the site, letting you know about it, and doing um, uh, you know notify me's that many of you like to do. Uh, but one of the problems we had is we didn't actually have full in in-house products, complete products, so that we could really 
be fair and give you complete information on them and complete, uh, you know, uh, pros and cons mm -hmm. in the product pages. And so we just decided we were just going to hold off. And when we got them, we decided we were going to talk about it. We were also told from Wilson we, that they didn't want us to say anything until it was about a month before that they would be available. Yeah. So I don't know if you remember that or not, but they shared, we shared with them, when can we start talking about this? Very hush-hush. And, and they said, you know, a month before it comes. And so that really put us in a very interesting, interesting situation because we didn't know when it was coming. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so, so that's where we are. And, and now they're here. Uh, and, but what's interesting, Ty, is even though they're here, we still don't have every size. Of, of everything, right? So what, as shin guards, I think we have it, it came in in the 17 inch? Yep, yep right there. Okay, and we don't have it yet in the 15 and a half or the 18 and a half? We, we have a couple of the 15 and a half. Okay, so we have a couple Less of than five. Half. Okay, so we have a couple of 15 and a half. And these are now available on the website. So if you wanna check, follow along, go to the website, look at look at some of the pictures, look at the, the copy, it's on the website, under chest protectors, under shin guards, under the Wilson brand page, it's there. Um, and so, and it just really, we just got put up on there. I mean, when did we, when did we, I think we pushed the shin guards live about 6.30 yesterday. And then the chest protector went live, what? Two o'clock. Two, a couple of hours ago. So we're very new into this and we're very excited about the products as you can tell. Um, but, but we're still sort of waiting. Uh, what we do have is limited. Uh, we have a lot more on order um, than what we have right now. And we don't know when the rest of them is going to, is going to come. Um, just like it's been all year long. So we do have um, maybe about 60, was it 66 of the 17 inch shin guards. Yes. So the most popular size, we do have about 66 of these. So if you want them, you know, do consider going ahead and grab a pair or order them, take a look. Just if you want to take a look, send it back. We'll, it's on our dime for free returns. We'd love to get this in your hands and let you take a look and see what you think. We think, we think definitely you're gonna, you're gonna like the shin guards. Um, chest protectors, grab the chest protector out there. Let's see what we have. Uh, look at that, we've already been um, showing the chest protector. Uh, again, this is the, if you just tuned in, this is the big the big upgrade with uh, memory foam, low profile, new harness, new fit lock buckles, uh, new adjustable uh, obliques, oblique wing on the side. Um, this is available, but we only have, can you help me out, Ty, what size is, do, I mean, We have about have? Uh, 77 of the large extra large okay. and less okay. than 10 of the okay. medium large. Okay, okay. So as you know, this comes in three sizes, small, medium, and then large, extra large. The most popular seller is large, extra large in this. That's the 13 inch size. Uh, and so of that one, we have, you know, at least thankfully we have more stock of that than any of the other ones. Medium and large is, is is very thin, and we don't have any small mediums quite yet. So again, still in the early stages of this, but we wanted to be transparent and show you what you, we had uh, in house there. We do have one question um, about the other new Wilson product, the the Gold Two Air Management, okay. asking if we intend on carrying it. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that here? It's here it's, somewhere, right? We it's have it? it's still here? back okay. in the warehouse. Okay. Uh, we do have the air management system. Uh, we have limited stock. Um, it. It's basically, I mean, you can bring it if you want, and that's fine, and then we kind of compare and contrast. Uh, I know we posted a picture of that on social media on Monday. Um, basically, the air management uh, pads are very similar to the A3210. So if you have the A3210, the old gold out, so bring out the, where's the A3210? Got that one right here. It's over there. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so you can see, um, very similar there. Um, we're still trying to figure out. Are you thinking that this still is lower there. profile than the A310, or is it still about the same? It's still about the same. Okay. Yeah. So and so we're still trying to figure this out. It's another reason why we haven't really posted it yet and have it online. We're still trying to figure out the details, the differences, and the you gain the um, you gain the okay. Velcro. So we do get, so this is the new one. This is the air management uh, Wilson uh, chest protector. This one is gonna be at a lower price point than the, than the memory foam pads, obviously. Um, but basically what, here's how I wanna position this, this product is, it's the A3210, it's the same padding. They're calling it air management. They could have called the A3210 air management, uh, but basically it's the same padding, same thickness, same profile. Um, um, if you want more protection, you're probably gonna get more protection out of this because of the thickness. Um, but the same, except with this one, you do have the premium harness that does come with it. 
which it does come with the fiddle. I feel like I'm on like home the Home Shopping Network or something. I'm not, I'm not really trying to be that way, but it seems okay. And you also get the fiddlock buckles, uh, the magnetic buckles we've been talking about, and you get the uh, what Ty likes the most, I think, uh, is the uh, adjustability on the uh, on the oblique pads. You can adjust that. You can take it off and all that. So that's the air management system. So this is going to be a lower price point. Um, I think we're uh, right now we have the intro offer. I do really sound like Home Shopping Network. I'm, we do have the intro offer if you act now. Um, the next 20 callers, uh, no, just kidding. Um, we uh, do have this, I think the, oh, the two, 229? Yes. 229 is what this is. And the air management system, we're not ready to launch that yet. We don't have enough stock of popular sizes and we don't want to create any confusion in the marketplace by throwing two new chest protectors at you. Uh, we think this is the one that we, That's we the love one. the most. Yeah. And we like the most. And we think you're gonna like the most. This is the one that has more upgrades that we've asked for the most, and you've asked for the most. So we're gonna go with this one first. This is 229 right now, intro offer, normally they're $250. Um, the air management, I'm not sure what the original price is gonna be, but I think we're gonna do an intro price of maybe like one, one, 199. Of 199 on that. So if, if you do want it, um, save some money later, and save 30 bucks, when this one launches, you know, feel free to take your time uh, on this one. Um, no, we're back to the memory foam pad now. Yeah. So you can see, let's put them both together. Let's put the air, uh, the memory foam the air upgrade with the air management upgrade. And I really wasn't planning on doing this, but since we had a, we had a question and we do want to be transparent, you can sort of see what it's very similar. Everything looks similar, but in one you've got low profile memory foam and one you've got what we've seen before, which is the air management uh, profile, but they both have the Fidlock buckles, mm -hmm. the new buckle system, they both have the oblique removal adjustment, and they both have the premium harness on it. So mainly the difference is what? Would you say the difference is the padding, right? And that's pretty much the difference. It's got the same sizes, 11, 12, and 13, but the padding is different. Low profile memory foam, the, the, the air management system standard, you, you, hit, you see it a lot. So if you see air, man, air management system, that just means it's gonna have foam uh, and, so, and, a, and a foam that's gonna have better uh, better Spurs, airflow than yeah, standard yeah. Uh, that so that's what that is so we, so we don't want to we don't want to oversell anything we don't want to oversell that this is the best chest trick on the market um, and that this one's better than the other one but I will say this I'm happy that we've got most of the upgrades we asked for uh, from Wilson and we've been asking them for many years uh, including the harness you know I, I recall one meeting they had here at the office where they, where they came down and I said if we can just do one thing and we put the please put the new har put, put the new harness on there Please, because I mean, literally, I'm, what, what I'm doing right now is what I was doing there. Just put the new, new harness on there. And really to the point, I don't know, we've had a lot of, of sales lately of the, of the older models where we, we added a premium yeah. harness. We threw it in there because we, 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 we felt so bad that that, um, that old harness just did not work. Um, if you're looking for a deal, we do have some of the um, A3210 golds and A3215 platinums. Uh, we didn't talk about those, uh, but those are still, we still have stock of some of those. Um, but those are going away. Those are going away. And that's another thing we didn't really mention in this, but the A3215 Platinum, which we don't have here, um, that has been around for a long time. The one that has the, uh, the extra padding here that people hated and always tried to remove and things like that, uh, that came in two sizes. That's going away. There's going to be no more. What's going to be left is the Wilson Pro Gold Chest Protectors and the Wilson uh, Shin Guards. So what's going away are... Um, uh, A3215, A3210, gold and platinum chest protectors, and then the two shin guards, A3409, A3417. So this is a big change. I mean, it's a big change that Wilson's, I mean, really, I mean, you know, you're getting rid I of mean, him just for, and coming back with a, with a sleek line. I right. Mean, it's, so, it's a really nice line. So, um, so they don't, yeah, they've taken, they've kind of taken together. the best of both worlds. Yeah. And, and uh, we get so many questions over the years of what's the difference between gold and platinum? Why should be, you know, and it's like, you know, they're pretty similar. There's a lot of similarities to it. And, and so now we're not going to get that question anymore. Now the question is going to be, what's the difference between memory foam and the air management? Yeah. <laughs> so that's probably going to be the next question. And, and obviously, hopefully we've answered that question here. And I'm sure we'll keep getting that question. Yeah. But, but basically the answer on that is one is memory foam and one is, one is, uh, one is foam padding, so um, and one is low profile, and one is one is not. So we got any other other questions, Tony? Yeah. Scott Mayer, once again, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Scott Mayer would like to know which model will ultimately be the lowest profile. Also, before you answer that, I want to shout out Ray Brownlee, 
Snar Chad, our, our Ump Life supplier, oh, outstanding okay. Canadian friend. Um, but yeah, Scott Mayer would like to know which one is ultimately going to be the lowest profile. That's a, it's a quarter inch thinner. Yeah, right. show, maybe Scott uh, chimed in late and, and did yeah, the yeah, intro, but you can see the difference between profiles. It's really nice. Maybe like, let's just bring it up a closer. Let's bring it up closer. Let's show the difference in profiles. I know it's really important. Is you're going to have um, uh, the lower profile memory foam. Um, can I grab the memory foam here? Yeah. 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 And then you're going to have. Um, Management. So this is the one. This is the low oh, profile, yeah. low profile memory foam, and it's another reason why I wasn't so excited about even really talking about the other one, because this is the one. This is the one we've been asking for. This is the one you've been asking for. Let's make it. Let's 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 less let's make this less bulky, mm -hmm. and let's put some memory foam on it. Let's make it like the Team Wendy retrofit it that we're in. done really that so many in. people loved, and and there's I know there's people out there still that have. They're Wilson Golds with the with the with the uh, Team Wendy retrofit that they, that they don't want to get a, rid of, and so basically they built this into the new chest protector. And so, uh, so hopefully Scott, did that answer your question? I appreciate you jumping on here and asking the question. Good. And then we got Ray Brown. Why would it be surprised Ray would be on here? Hey Ray, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, I know uh, when we did this, uh, did a lot of things with the Cobalt crew. Uh, not, I'm sorry, the Cobalt chest protectors that came out. I know you were, you were on here very curious about what was going on, and and uh, I appreciate you tuning in and and, and and checking this out. And everyone else who's who's uh, followed along today, we don't want to take too much of your time. We don't want this to be an hour long, but we want to be on here enough to where people get on, ask some questions while we were here. Uh, we're trying to be transparent. Again, these just came in. We didn't know they were coming in. I think uh, we thought maybe end of June, maybe July. It's been kind of wonky. It's been a wonky year where we think we're getting something in that doesn't come until a month later, and we think something's going to be a month later, and it comes in. Um, um, and so this just came in, and we wanted to introduce it as soon as we found out about it. These are available online. Um, the um, the memory foam pad chest protector is available online. Uh, the air management one is not yet. Don't have enough stock yet. We do have some sizes of the of the memory foam. Not all sizes. Uh, we're still waiting on stock. Some more stock. Uh, shin guard, same way. We've got stock um, of the 17 inch. Um, but not of the other sizes yet. Uh, but they are online. You can check them out. We're still working on some pictures. Yeah. I mean, this is so new. We're just we're really just throwing this together. Uh, you know, as much as, as quick as possible. Uh, taking some more. Tyler's gonna take some more images like he does. Uh, hopefully, get those up within a day or two. And then um, go maybe going to tweak a little bit of the copy on some of the products. We want to get it just right for you all. All, all the pros and all the all the cons and and all that like like we like we usually do there. So so that's it. Um, Thank you, everybody. Anything else? Any questions? Things that help us learn more. Yeah, so that's great. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, uh, jump on our Facebook page, send us, some, uh, send us an email through our contact page. Um, you know, reach out to us any any way you want. We're happy to happy to help. We have the Q and A's on the uh, on the product pages. Um, you know, at, go go jump on, log in, ask a question. We'll answer it. It'll be on the on the product page. Uh, we're happy to help. Well, we have I got question. we got one last question before we go. Matt Martin wants to know, is it lower profile than the Cobalt? Man, that's close. That's well, you want, you want, to, just, you want really to just guess close. and say it's about the same? I'll say it's about the same. It's about the same. Yeah. I'm going to rank you. No, no. You don't want to take you 10 minutes <laughs> while we're sitting here not knowing what to say. So it, it, It's uh, very close. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, yeah. Just, right, I'm right. thinking about that pad and, and right. how, how kind of yeah, that think about it. It's eggshell. Remember that eggshell? Do you like me run and go get one? No. No, let's okay. let's just let's just say they're about the same. Can okay. we maybe um, I'll get them in the comments? We might do that. Why don't we why don't we answer that in the comment after after the, the live show and we'll be real specific on it and we'll get your answer exactly because we don't wanna we don't wanna mess this that's up. Get, that's a good one. A lot of low profile chest checkers on there. So this this competition. You know, four three is gonna continue to be the lowest profile out there, like like everyone knows. Um, it's still the uh, the number one chest protector for the lowest profile is going to be the force three. This one is not lower profile than that, um, but we do know that there are other ones that are out there. Um, as we're moving toward that direction, where if it's going to have a, a hard shell, it doesn't need so much padding on the backside, and so we're moving to lower profiles on the front side. And I like that. I hope I hope the manufacturers continue to do that. And we continue to send that send that message, uh, and that will reduce bulk and make it look better. All those things that go along with uh, go along with low profile. 
Uh, but yeah, so Cobalt's got lower profile you know, now, upgraded from the old System 7 for All-Star, and now Wilson has a lower profile option with the memory foam. I think Champro is still lower profile, Champion is still lower profile. So we're really headed in that direction where most umpire chest protectors are lower profile. It's what you want. What you want. What people want. So here you go. I'm trying to trying to bring it to you. <laughs> and uh, you know, this has been a quick uh, Facebook live, but I have spent we have spent over the last uh, four or five years hours with Wilson on let's make upgrades, let's make upgrades. And I'm so thankful to them that they have pulled the trigger, made it happen. Um, I know they've had a lot going on with new catcher, Noxie standards over the last couple of years, and I know they had told me personally we were going to make something happen after Noxie standards happened. COVID hit, changed everything, and so two years after COVID, we really, I think this was going to be something that was going to launch maybe fall of 2020, mm -hmm. right? So COVID pushed that back, and so but here we are. We finally made it, finally, finally made it to where Wilson has upgraded their protective gear to include new features that need to be added. Uh, to where this is a more customizable, uh, customizable set of gear, um, and uh, more comfortable, lower profile, all the things that you've been asking for. So, so those of you who've been talking about Wilson and when are they going to make upgrades? When are they going to do it? I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, you know, Mad Max at Empire Empire. Uh, I'm going to send you one of these, and you can take a look at this. And I know you've been you've been asking about it, and so it's um, here. It is. It's here. We've got it. So I hope everyone likes it. Uh, I think the upgrades are great. Is it going to be perfect? Probably not. Are there going to be some things you're going to wish that was different? Yeah, probably something on it. There's always something. Um, but I think we're really doing a lot better job in this market, this industry, where things are getting better. I know things don't happen as quick as we would like them to be, but, but despite all the challenges with suppliers and the marketplace these days with supply chain, products are getting better uh, on average. Um, every year. So, any questions, Hunter? Anybody else jumped in? Eric Goldschmidt has a uh, longtime customer. Eric Goldschmidt has a great suggestion of okay. a, a potential blog post where we go through the thickness measurements uh, of Cobalt, yeah. Wilson, nice. Champion, nice. Force nice. 3. Challenge, challenge. Yeah. So. All right, thanks, Eric, for your said That's a great suggestion. I know we have a blog post that talks about which which are ranked lower profile, but I don't know if we have actual thickness. Next yeah, measurement, we may need to add that in it's there. The, so, I think we can do that. I think we're also going to add a blog post that's going to be a um, blog article about the differences between the A3210 and the, and the new um, Pro Gold 2 memory phone and the same thing with Shingar. We'll write an article about that. We'll take some close-up pictures and you can see the differences and then I'm sure we'll, we'll be posting that to, uh, to um, uh, social media when that gets done. Yeah. Okay. So, good, good suggestion there. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for all your support over the years over social media and, and, um, and uh, all your orders, and we thank everyone, all everyone, Everybody. for their support. And, and um, you know, we can't do this without you. But hopefully, we're also supporting you in the way that you want us to support you. And it's all a, you know, a team, um, team thing working together for the betterment of, of gear and apparel for umpires in, in this industry. So, thanks, guys. Good. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a